Hello Visionaries, I'm James, and I welcome you to my channel. If you happened to watch my previous couple of videos, you probably realized that I discussed inventions that could have vast impacts on our society. Today I'm going to do something different. The reason is, I want you to know that you could be a successful inventor without being an expert in science or technology. It is often said that the simplest solution to, to a problem is the best solution. So, for today's video, I selected a couple of patents for very simple products, products that if I saw in the store, I would probably buy just to make my life easier. As always, there will be links in the video description to the full text of the patents for anybody that wants to read them. The first patent I will discuss is titled Umbrella Case, which was granted to Zeta Zanjewski of Bronx, New York. To be honest, there was a handful of umbrella related patents that were granted this week, and I was tempted to include all of them but I wanted to give some more variety and I didn't want to make this video too long. So the title of this patent is pretty self describing. It's literally a case to hold your umbrella. But if you think about it, it's actually a pretty good idea. Nobody looks forward to a rainy day. And when it does rain, how do you enter a building with a wet umbrella? Well, now you don't have to worry about that anymore. As you can see in the picture behind me, the umbrella fits into this container and there's a lower compartment for the water to drain. Really the genius is in the simplicity. The next patent I'd like to discuss is titled Walking Stick which was granted to Shi Shu Lu of Taiwan. Can you believe in 2021 we're looking at a patent for something titled Walking Stick. It's literally a cane. After all these years of innovation and patents improving upon each other we're looking at a cane. The difference is that this cane is retractable so it's easy to use and easy to store if you're sitting there and thinking wow I really could have came up with that I believe you and I want you to think that way that's the frame of mind I want you to have I want you to think about simple things and simple improvements that you can make and I want to see what you come up with the third patent I will present is titled stethoscope holder this patent was granted to Colton Alexander of Hayes Kansas. So this patent is somewhat profession specific. If any of you are doctors or nurses or ever visited a hospital or healthcare facility, you may have noticed that a stethoscope is one of the most common tools that healthcare professionals use. The problem is they either wear it around their neck or they put it in one of the pockets of their white coats. Their white coats don't have a lot of pockets. So what happens a lot is they end up putting it down in a room after they help a patient and they forget about it. And that stethoscope either gets lost, stolen, or one of their coworkers take it home by accident thinking it's theirs. Either way, they end up losing a lot of them. All this is, is a strap that's shaped like a cone that the stethoscope rolls up and fits into. It's that simple, and it's gonna make a lot of healthcare professionals happy. At least I think it will. If you haven't noticed what all these inventions have in common, it's that they all solve the little annoyances of life and that's what I want you to think about what are all those little things that annoy you or disrupt your day and think about ways to solve those problems I mean just off the top of my head I could tell you where I live it's starting to be the rainy season and in the rainy season sometimes it rains so hard that when I'm driving down the highway I see plenty of cars pulled over because the water doesn't get off the windshield fast enough so Maybe we could put a film on the windshield that makes the water run off faster. Or maybe we could put a shelf that attaches to the roof of the car that prevents rain from even hitting the windshield. That's just off the top of my head. I mean, I'd have to do some research if I really wanted to develop it. I have some other ideas that I'll keep to myself. But that's the type of stuff that you could be solving. Even if you can't think of anything that bothers you in your day immediately, talk to people around you. See what bothers them. Ask the people around you how their day, their day is going and listen to what they complain about. I can tell you that just about everybody I know has a PhD in complaining. That's kind of a different story. It's another topic. I'll end the video here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, if you like learning about recently granted patents and you like to know what's going to be coming out in the future, uh, please, please like the video and subscribe. Leave any comments down below. And until my next video, please take care. Goodbye.